Janet Commons went missing on the 7th of January 1976. She was 15 years old. Four days later, her body was found in this field in Flint, North Wales, and soon after, police charged a 16-year-old boy with her murder. He admitted manslaughter and was jailed, but after a cold case review decades later of DNA evidence kept from the scene, a new defendant is in the dock. Stephen Huff, now 58 years old, is charged with rape and murder. The court heard he was among the local teenagers questioned at the time. The prosecution claimed DNA taken from him last year in an unrelated matter links him to the killing. So today, here at Stephen Huff's trial, we heard from the man who was originally jailed, Noel Jones, now also in his late 50s. He claims that the confession he signed in 1976 wasn't true. He said that he couldn't read or write and that he didn't have a solicitor or relative with him when he was first questioned by police. Noel Jones is pictured here some years ago. He was freed in 1982 and has changed his name. He says he admitted manslaughter because his solicitor advised him to and didn't appeal because he didn't have the means. Today he described his arrest and questioning. He told the jury, It was like I was in hell. I didn't know what was going on. They were showing me papers, but I couldn't read them. It continued until they got what they wanted. They wanted somebody, and I happened to fit the bill. I was made a scapegoat. I had no reason to commit this crime. I've been saying this for 40 years. I never hurt anyone. Noel Jones insisted that despite his time in prison, he played no part in the death of Janet Commons. Stephen Huff denies all the charges against him, and his trial continues. Peter Lane, 5 News, Mould Crown Court.